Well, I think we might be going to get another pallet today. <laughs> we I can't know, we'll stay see. away. We can't stay away. They're too addicting. The guy we buy pallets from posted a really cryptic message. Sarah's going to read it for you. Okay, me. this is what he said. He said, a new pallets, all new merchandise. No one in Michigan has ever had this mer merchandise. We're not going to say what it is and no pictures. I'm telling you, you must see. <laughs> so we gotta go check it out. So we gotta see. What you, what are you feeling? Which box? I'm feeling lucky. Like you like this one? Yeah. That's one. So we just loaded up our pallet and it is a bunch of undeliverable mail. So we have no idea what's inside. This is truly a mystery box. The guy that we buy pallets from wouldn't even tell us where he got this from. He doesn't want anyone to know. It's like top secret information. So I'm pretty pumped about it. I think we're gonna get some either really funny stuff or really valuable stuff, or maybe both. Let's go home. Uh, we're going to open this undeliverable mail. Uh, you can see each one of these boxes has a label on it, um, which is different from our Amazon returns because they scribble those out or cut them off. Uh, this one is supposed to go to Oswaldo in Davenport, Florida. Oswaldo. So what is an undeliverable package? So this is when you would like order something and uh, it's either the wrong address, either you entered the wrong information or the shipping process was screwed up somehow and you never got your package. Well, uh, a lot of times those packages just sit around until they either dispose of them or sell them to people. So Apparently. So these are all supposed to be unopened, brand new. Um, that's what we were told anyway. It looks like what we're looking at, we see some open packages, so we're not really sure who all was honest with us with selling this pallet, but it's supposed to be unopened, undeliverable mail. Yes. Packages. So, yes. So. Is that legal, you ask? We're not sure. I think so. <laughs> it's legal. It's legal. Okay. What we're doing is perfectly legal. Okay. These are real undeliverable packages, so. We have no idea what's in these boxes. They all are unmarked, so we're going to open them with yes. you guys today. Yeah, we're going to, we'll try to flash up on the screen what the item actually is if, if we can't quite figure it out. We'll do some research later and then as well as the MSRP of that item because mm -hmm. our goal is to resell these. So Yes, so we paid $550 for this palette of complete mystery items. Mm -hmm. So we'll see if we can make, hopefully double that back. All right, first honors. Okay. Try not to cut me. All right, this one? Oh, yeah, one. There's like cock on it. Don't we have a better one? Uh, okay, let's, okay. <laughs> what do we got here? Ooh, it looks like a bathroom LED light. Let's see it. Ooh. Oh. <laughs> okay. Okay. It's a light. A light. If we were flipping a house right now, that might be helpful, but. It's true. Yeah. It's cool. All right, this one is from Walmart, apparently. These Ooh. are the small boxes first, so. Okay. What is that? So I think these are like reusable um, lids, like instead okay. of plastic wrap. There's a lot of them. There's like, holy cow. There's like 30 of them in here? Yeah. All right. Those are kind of cool. I don't know if we can nice. sell those, but we can uh, use them. Can right? Save the earth. They're a little, a little boring. Let's hope we get a little better luck here. You see anything about this one? Oh. Oh boy. Okay. What is so, that? Briefcase? Looks like a jewelry case, maybe? Yep. Okay. <laughs> jewelry case. Wow. For grandma. Grandma's Christmas present. This Here we go. This might have been a terrible mistake. Yep. So this is a pleather jewelry case. It kind of has some like markings on it. This looks like a return, too. So. I think we were know. a little gypped when they said oh, that look. it was. Little. Ooh, a little eerie. Little eerie there for you. Is there okay. any diamonds in there? <laughs> this one says the name on the outside. If that's what's in here anyway. It says rotary hammer. Do you know okay. what that is? Um, maybe for like drilling concrete? I don't know. Okay. Right? Something like that. Do you have that? No. Okay. Well, that one is heavy anyway. This will be a Christmas gift for dad. Oh, it is a tool. Okay. 
Okay, let's open it. Let's see. Oh, it is a rotary. This is like. Whoa. This is intense. Look at this thing. It's not your average drill. That's like a. Oh my goodness. That is for drilling concrete, like thick concrete. They said that, that this stuff was all unused, but it is definitely. It is? Well, like, look at it. No, that's just grease covering that oh, bit, I think, okay. in there. This is unused. Okay. This is Are unused. You sure? Yep. <laughs> I think. Yeah. Look at it. Uh, like something's up it. with it. Someone maybe used it once or something. Yeah, something's up with it. How uh, much are these worth, do you know? That looks like a couple hundred dollar tool. I don't know. 200 bucks maybe? We'll see. We'll look it up. Is this like Ooh. a paint sprayer? What does that read that? Okay. This is a cast iron hand crank manual corn grinder. A corn grinder? <laughs> It says, or for coffee or nuts. <laughs> okay. It's a tool. We'll put a picture up there of that because I don't want to take that all out. But interesting. Yikes. How are you guys feeling about our chances? Let us know in the comments below. <laughs> I think, I mean, we're going to get our money back. We always do. We always do. That's true. But this is, this is interesting. What do we got? Okay. Magical panels, it says. Oh. What's, what do you think that is? Oh, oh. boy. That is a uh, sound of disappointment, guys. <laughs> Ooh. Looks like build your own storage box, maybe? <laughs> like this? Oh, man. This stinks. I'm sure the person who didn't receive this wasn't too sad. <laughs> wow. Probably saved them oh, yeah, hours of like, their time. Okay. Wow. Yikes. This one looks new, so I mean, there's that's a plus. What are we going to do with that? What do we got? Rob, Robson? Robson? Supposed to go to Flanders, New Jersey. Never made it there. Oh no. Yeah. No. Clearwater, Florida. Shout out to Clearwater. Oh, you know what? I think I have an explanation for why some of these might be used. I think this would be a scenario of like a reseller selling a package, selling something used to somebody, but then it being the wrong address. Remember? Yeah, that, that happened, happened to, to me us. recently, actually. Okay, yeah. It came back to me though. Maybe That's it true. Go back to them. Yeah, because this says who it's from. Oh, another. Okay. Okay. I would. I would like this personally. A vertical fries machine. <laughs> this is like an industrial potato cutter for French fries. Like a, right. You got a picture here. Show them the picture. Yeah. We'll mm -hmm. put a picture up there of that. Okay. But nice. Want to make some French fries? They look thin, like the good ones. That's true. We do this on our channel a lot now. It's, it's kind of fun. It's so fun. But uh, we'll see what we got We're here. We're gonna maybe give these away as like Christmas gifts to people, but I'm not seeing anything like it. Oh, Ooh, speaking of Christmas. Okay. A Christmas tree or something. Or some, or. A wreath. Oh yeah, it's a tree. Oh, how <gasps> tall is it? Let's put it up. Maybe we should keep it. We uh, have been debating getting a fake tree for a I few used years to be now. hardcore into only wanting real trees, but it's kind of a lot of work. And then we could already put it up. It looks like a nice one. How tall is it? I don't know. Nice. We'll look into that. We'll let you know. But okay. even if we decide to resell it, it's the perfect time of year. That's so. true. <laughs> okay. So this one, it says Clary Instruments on it. Glary. Glary. It's not an instrument. We'll Ooh. see if we can open this up later, but this is like massive bounce house. Like the one we had before was a kitty bounce house. This is like industrial <gasps> bounce house. So we'll see if there's a uh, pump too, so. Pump thing. That one. I don't know. We'll open it up later, but. And it might have a giant hole in it. Can you see me? Yeah. It's huge. If it has a pump, that's like three or four hundred bucks, though. So. At least. Okay. Yeah. All right. See. Let's get this off here. You got it. Ooh. Supposed to go to Cal be in California right now. Oh, careful. Set it here with us. A lot of these boxes look like they've been through this stuff. Yeah. So. Okay. Okay. I don't know if you guys can see that. This is like a piece of outdoor furniture. So it's heavy. It's like steel kind of. Or it's metal. Oh no, it's a bench. Metal bench. It's okay. Like all like those cute little ones in like English gardens. Yeah, we'll put a picture of this up when we find it later. But this could be worth something. It's kind of cute. My mom might like it. Yeah. Problem is we can't ship this because it's large. 
Well, you could. You it could. would just be expensive and probably not worth it for what you yeah. could get for it's it. It's getting cold here now, so outdoor stuff may not do so good. Yeah, not the best time of year, but could but, technically hold on to it, yeah. but we don't like hanging on to stuff. And this is definitely brand new, too, so that's, that's good. That's true. Yeah, no. no. What's cool about this palette is that they're all brown packages, so we have no idea what's in them. <laughs> ah. Okay. Okay. A little, it's a, a bench. Little stool. Yeah, a little bench. Yeah, we'll pop a picture up of that, but it's brand new, so I don't want to take it out of the box. So it looks like all the parts are there. Yeah. So. Piano stool. Oh, piano stool. Okay. There you go. Ooh. Uh, These are just like. File yeah. cabinet? Like storage, like. Homework trace? Yeah. For a teacher? Okay. Right, that's. Oh, wait. Oh, it's, it is like a little rolly cart thing. Okay. That you put, like, yeah. Okay. Not... I'm not seeing too many big items yet that'll pay for our palette. Yeah. That's what we try to do. We try to get, like, a few big items that we know will make us our money back. Uh, the bounce house, yeah. maybe, but. Everything after that is profit. Foam, foam. Looks like a. The metal door to nothing. Just a metal door. So, uh, yeah, there's the handle. I've heard of this happening where like different pallets will have different pieces of, like if they were in multiple boxes, or the rest of this piece could be in one of our boxes, or someone else might have the other piece of this. Or made it to its final destination. Maybe. Or maybe part of it. We'll see. So this one's pretty unusable. Well, I think what it is is like if you were to build an outdoor kitchen, Oh. And this is like your drink storage or something? I don't know. Okay. It's just a metal door though. I don't even Some know if I want to open this one. Yeah. What are we going to do with all this? Metal rack of some kind. Huh. Sure, if that one or just... We probably should open it. I mean, I yeah. if I know what it is at some point. Here's an install sheet. Let me check it out. Water barrel storage shelf. What? For like those big, you know, if you have your big bottle of water for your yeah. filter. For five of them. You can hold five of them. Can you just put those on the ground? I don't know, guys. These are very obscure items. I'm pretty bummed. <laughs> I don't know what I was thinking, but I was, I was thinking maybe we'd get like a MacBook Pro. <sighs> I think he might have got it. He got us with the height. He did get us with the height. He was like, never have you seen anything like this before. <laughs> Our luck is going to change here. What do you think? Another one says Glary, you said? Clary? Glary. Instrument. instrument. Okay. All right. So it's like Ooh. an instrument box, and it was heavy. Maybe, Maybe it's a, a trumpet. Ah. Sarah played trumpet in high school, FYI. No, I didn't. I played in middle school. Oh, middle school. Okay. I played clarinet in high school. So what would you say? Is this trumpet size? It's trumpet size. All right. Whoa. <laughs> Guys. It's a saxophone. Saxophone. Sweet. I want to play it, but no. it looks brand new. So <gasps> check it out, guys. Wow. That, I mean, I know one thing. I know instruments are expensive, so. Kenny G. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Anyways. Maybe I mean, our luck is going to change. This whole thing might pay for our palette. I don't know. Yeah, Brand well, is definitely obviously important, but this might pay for our whole palette. Yeah, what do you think saxophones are worth? I don't know, 500, right? Nope. Yeah, I was going to say more. It sells yeah. all the foam things in it, so like it has not been used. It has not been played. Brand new. That's funny. <laughs> Sweet. That's pretty cool. I'm into it. It's no MacBook Pro, but <laughs> I'll take it. <laughs> We have some bigger items now, guys. Even bigger than the bounce house. That's true. So let's go with that. We're gonna do the biggest package next, yeah? All right. All right. Ooh. This definitely looks like it's been through some yes. stuff. Okay. Primo, is that a water thing too? Oh, maybe this is the uh, oh, the, cool the tank. Bottles. Yeah. Ooh, <laughs> lucky eyes. It's a light like that. Oh, that's not what it is. All right, guys, this is a good one here. What? You're gonna like this. Ugh. What? Hey-oh! What? Sweet! You 
see what that is? I don't think you can see it. I don't Whoa. know. Oh, careful. Oh, there's a little. Oh, Woo! It's a police car. <laughs> Just what I wanted. It. It's a smashed up. Whoa. Oh no! Smashed up police car. Is it broken? Battery's not included. Are you serious? Yeah, there's no batteries. What can I, what? Maybe it just I don't think like there's a top. Like this? Oh yeah, that's so good. Like oh that. yeah, like that. Ah, okay. Okay, okay, okay. What do you, what do these go uh, for? It's pretty small though for like, it's like a one person or maybe two kid. Yeah. The question is, does it work? And are we willing to buy a battery yeah. to see? I don't know, like you might be digging yourself into a deeper hole, you know what I'm saying? Why would someone put this in a water bottle box? I don't know. Or try to ship it in the first place. Yeah. Oh, what's this? A receipt. Okay. Let's see what it says here. Your item was sold through Walmart Marketplace. We cannot accept this return in Walmart stores, so that's what happened. So Walmart's like Amazon, where you can buy pretty much anything on there, but that doesn't mean that you can return it to Walmart because oh. it's like all third party stuff. But someone probably brought this in and maybe Walmart was like, I guess. And then oh. they were like, shoot, we can't, ex we can't take this. Like, so okay. then Walmart has to send it somewhere. So it was like Walmart's problem. I don't know guys, this is gonna be either a lot of fun or a lot of headache, so. This is getting pretty good though, this is funny. That was a surprise, I'll give you that. That was, this is quite, it's very used. It's not like slightly used. Yeah, like they definitely played with this for like a summer. Yeah. All right, what do we got here? Okay, looks like an outdoor, like, uh, what would that be called? Like a little bistro set? Yeah, like an outdoor bar. That's kind of cool. Yeah. Looks brand new, unopened, so. Yeah, it's like still in plastic. Yep. Uh, Mission Side Hustle, his palette he did was all outdoor furniture and he made pretty good money on it. But he also lives in Florida. Where it's outside, yeah. Where you can That's be true. outside. We live in Michigan. Yes. Maybe we should give it, ship it to him. Yeah, he can take care of it. You could sell them in the spring, maybe when he gets yeah. home. Yeah, I don't know. The we'll question see. is, is should we assemble this to sell it, or just give it to someone and be like, here? Because what if there's like missing parts? Yeah, I think you gotta assemble. I think you have to assemble it. Ugh. Okay. Got another one here. To happy girl, it says. To happy girl. She might not be happy. She never got it. <laughs> All right, let's this see. This says no box cutters. Careful! No, oh, what? It's heavy. Why would you be able to use a box cutter on that? It's like piping. Oh. What? This piping? Is trash. Let's just show them. It's about 30 of these metal pipes. 30? It looks like 100. 100. What are these two? I don't know. Is there an insert? Oh man, there's lots of them. Oh, oh, oh. it's like a. Oh, it's a. It's a tent. Wait. Yeah, it's like a. Um, Ooh, maybe it's like a greenhouse. It's like a white tent. Maybe a greenhouse, or maybe Can like for out? events. We gotta figure. We'll have to get that out later, I think. See if you can find a, an insert of what it is. So this is. That doesn't look very big, but. Oh no, there's another one down here. Okay. We're gonna research this and find out the value to see. See what it is, but. Okay, happy girl. Poor right. girl. All right. All right. So a tent. This one says duplicate order. So maybe someone ordered something and they accidentally were sent two. So they were a good American and sent it back. Okay. All right. Okay. Oh. Looks like a fireplace. It's an outdoor fire pit, yeah. Another fire pit thing? Yeah, we'll find a picture of it and put it up for you. <gasps> You're being so lazy. Why can't we show them? Oh, okay. Well, I think it's assembled. Ah! Oh no! See, that's why. Oh, broke. <laughs> that's why. Okay, okay, don't hey, take look. it anymore. Look, we got a picture or something down here. Okay. All right. There we go. Mm, like a that's what it looks like. It's an outdoor fire pit. 
Again, something Mission Side Hustle will probably sell really well. In Michigan, however, in the winter, not so much. Not so much, yep. Okay. That. Okay, we have to ship them, I guess, to Florida. <laughs> going to be expensive because these probably aren't very worth very much and it's so big and heavy. Yeah, it's probably like a $30 item, right? $50 uh, maybe? You, this one's pretty lightweight, but it's a big box. Yellow tape. It's not... Mm -hmm. Oh, okay. okay. Wow. <laughs> another another toy. Ruby's going to love it. Merry Christmas. <laughs> Bulldozer. This one looks new, but looks like not in the original box. Toy cars. Oh, it's like the kind you... Yeah, you sit on. That's cool. That's cool, but I guess uh, not right. worth a ton. Yeah, I mean you can go buy this at the thrift store for four dollars right now. So I don't know. I mean yeah. it's new, I guess. I don't know. Okay. Yeah. Wow. It's about what six feet long. So bad for the FedEx he guys who had to lift yeah. this thing. It says heavy, over seventy pounds. Here we gotta find the tape UPS. to cut. UPS. Okay. Right here, yeah. What's your guess? It's heavy. Uh, weight bench? <laughs> maybe. We had a weight bench that was very similar looking actually. Yeah, we did. Okay. Ah! Ooh. It's a bed. A wood bed. A wood bed. Let's see what kind of wood you got here. It's new. It's like the whole, like, the, what's the bottom part called? Well, that's nice. The headboard, the footboard, and the frame. Yeah. Let's so find a small piece to show. I'll yeah. put a picture up later, but it's like this dark wood. Nice. I wonder what size it does. It say what size bed is. Uh, no. <laughs> so we might have to put it together. <laughs> I don't know what size it is. Well, we'll find we the model number sell here. sell all sizes and then, I don't know. I'm betting it's at least a queen. Why? Because well, look, it's, how would you possibly know? Based on this bag. It looks wider than a twin. And is that maybe be like a hundred bucks? Yeah. Mm. For a bed? I know it's a new bed, but like you can get um, they're a dime a dozen on marketplace. For how much? Fifty. Okay, so fifty dollars. Well, I don't know. I'll take it. Okay. Whoa. Sorry. <laughs> Yeah. Okay. Okay. Some sort of furniture. Furniture. I can't tell if it's outdoor or indoor furniture. Can you? What do you think? Mm, uh, you think it's like a corner of a couch? <laughs> We're gonna have to put this together. I don't know what it is. But That's cool. It's nice. Yeah. I don't quite get how it works. Oh, it might be like a love seat of sorts. Oh yeah. Or one of those like chair and ottoman or something? Yeah, or like changeable pieces. Yeah. So speaking of furniture, we just released a flipping guide on how to resell almost anything. Um, we made an ebook about everything we know about reselling because we do a lot of it. So if you're interested in reselling, check that out. We'll put a link below. We missed recording that one for some reason, but Sorry. we've got a golf cart here, a golf. It says golf push cart. Push cart, yes. With seat. Foot brake, umbrella holder, cup holder, pull golf cart. It has a, wheel, a big wheel. It looks pretty nice. It, has, it should have several big wheels. What is it? You've never you've, She's not in golf. Well, I'm not I really either. But I used to be a caddy, and you'd pull a car, you would instead of carrying their bag, you'd have their bag in this wheel thing, and you'd yeah, pull it behind you. Yeah, I've seen those, That's but why says. would there be a seat? If you want to take a break, mm. sit down. Caddies are a lot of breaks, huh? Well, maybe this is for the poor man's caddy here. <laughs> Personal caddy. <laughs> Pers yeah. Okay. All right, there you go. World's tiniest screwdriver. Reminds me of the pencils in elementary yeah. school. <laughs> yeah. here. Lame. All right. You know what it is? No, but I can tell it's lame. Maybe it's kind of cute. It's like uh, for your garden, maybe. I thought you like said you knew what it was. I don't know. <laughs> I'm just complaining. Looks like some decorative like little, stuff. Little thing. <laughs> for your garden, I like that. I like a vines. Well, vines grow up in maybe. 
Oh, or like, see these connect together, like maybe like a room divider. Flower pot holder. That's what it says? Oh, I don't know. Oh. We'll find out, we'll find out, don't worry. It's something. We'll put it up there. It's kind of cute, I All guess. Right. A lot of like $20 items, $10 items maybe. 50 Those are the worst. 50, I think, yeah. Yeah, this is garbage too, man. This is the last one? I think so. Another another white tent, it looks like. See? Does this one go to Happy Girl too? I don't know. Mm -hmm. Same thing as the other, just like white steaks. Man. <laughs> wow, I think we, mm -hmm. I think we might have. Uh, I feel a little duped. We've been duped! Duped! The weird thing is, is we checked the Facebook group that we bought this from, and everyone else was like talking about how amazing their palettes were, that they mm -hmm. like felt like they got really good stuff. So maybe we just picked a bad one. I think definitely I would not go with another large unreturnable packages palette because yeah, it was a lot of garbage. Smaller stuff is can be really expensive. Bigger True. stuff can be really cheap apparently. It's a very luck of the draw game. You never know what you're gonna get. So I think this time it's a bust. Well, I do. yeah. I mean, yeah. I think we'll get our money back. Yeah. I'm not worried about that. Cause I mean, that chair was like 120 bucks maybe. Um, we had the saxophone. Bounce hopefully that's, house. hopefully the saxophone's a few hundred dollars and then uh, bounce house. I bet the saxophone's more than that. Yeah. I don't know. So we'll let you know. We'll add up the MSRP and have it at the end of this video, but you're probably wondering, how did you buy a pallet of undeliverable mail? <laughs> well, the answer is we are part of a lot of return pallet Facebook groups, uh, guys who liquidate large semi truck loads of returns from Amazon, Walmart, all these things. Mm -hmm. And this was a special load he had of undeliverable mail. So <laughs> that's how we came across it. I don't know how you would do this on your own. I, I can't, I I can't how, give you any tips. Yeah, but, I don't know how he found this stuff. But, but also I wouldn't recommend it. Because what, pallet flipping or no, just I wouldn't this? recommend the undeliverable mail because it was a lot more of a risk than the Amazon. Yeah, we thought it might pay off, but it did not. No, <laughs> no. But how you find pallet groups in your area is by going on Facebook and typing in pallet liquidation, and groups from your area will show up, or they might be like an hour away drive. Mm. But that's how we find them. We always get our pallets in person, never online, because mm. there's so many scams out there. So. If you want to get into pallets, maybe don't do the undeliverable mail, but there are some really great pallets out there that you can make really good money from. Mm -hmm. So that's how we find them, just through Facebook. Uh, this is only our fourth pallet, but so far the least profitable, I think. Um, uh, Walmart was also bad. We had really good luck with an Amazon appliance pallet. Yeah, that um, one did well. She was awesome, that group, because she guaranteed a certain MSRP. That one wasn't much as much of a risk. Yeah, and they were like, Kitchen appliances was very really easy to ship and stuff like that. But so. it was not very much fun. True. These ones are fun. The mystery boxes are fun, but also, you know, it could happen to have a big pile of garbage in your garage. So That's true. If anyone wants to come get any of this. Yeah, maybe we'll have a garage sale. A winter garage sale. <laughs> Thanks guys. If you want to watch any of our other palette videos, we will link those below. Those ones are super fun as well. So we will see you next time. Bye. <laughs>